Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Continuing on our series on the recently released On One Photo Raw 2024, we zero in on what is perhaps On One's most essential local adjustment tool, and that is the masking brush. While On One's masking brush is indeed very powerful, more than other raw editors, you need to know some basic settings about this brush to get the most out of it. As such, in this video, I'll be running through three tips on how to use On One's masking brush for precise masking, which I hope will get On One users, old and new, editing the right way with less frustration. So let's get right into it. Before I get into the first tip, let's answer the question. Why learn about the masking brush at all? After all, can't you just use some AI tool to create the mask? Well, the answer to that is, as you can see here, AI, and in this case, Brilliance AI, doesn't always give you an edge-perfect mask every single time. And in those cases, the tried and tested masking brush is your best bet. With that question out of the way, Let's move on to our first tip, and that is to set the right brush settings. On One's masking brush has a lot of settings, the most important of which is feather and opacity. Feather controls the amount of softness in the edges of the mask. As you can see here, if you set feather to zero, the paint's edges appear with maximum hard edges. While setting feather with a higher value, paints with softer edges. I would recommend a feather value from 50 to 100 to ensure your edit blends well with the overall image. How about opacity? Opacity controls the amount of transparency of the brush. As you can see here, painting with a low opacity lets the background show through, while painting with an opacity of 100% blocks the background from view and makes the paint fully opaque. To ensure an even mask, I would actually recommend an opacity of 100%. The main problem with the lower opacity is, as you can see here, if you don't paint correctly, the mask may appear uneven, which may reduce the quality of the edit. One final brush setting is flow. To access flow, just click on the masking brush options button. For flow, I would also recommend it to be set at 100% for the same reason as opacity. So that is the first tip. Now let's move on to the next tip. The second tip is to set the proper perfect brush settings. In case you didn't know, perfect brush allows for edge detection to be enabled in the masking brush. In this case, I recommend to set only one setting it's called the color threshold, and it controls the sensitivity of the brush's edge detection. Let's demonstrate this with this image. Notice what happens when I set the color threshold to maximum. The paint is spilling over the edges. Not great for a precise mask. Notice what happens when I lower it. The brush is now much better in keeping the paint within the edges. Now there are some mistakes. Let's fix this. To perform an erase, hold the Alt key while brushing or select the Erase button. Notice though that when I try to erase, the mask is stubbornly not getting removed. This can be very frustrating if you don't know the reason why. The reason of course is that in this case, the color threshold is set too low and is overly sensitive preventing the mask from being erased. Notice what happens when I increase the setting. Now the brush does its job. There, a reasonably accurate mask. So that is how you set perfect brush settings. Let's move on to the third tip. The third tip is to use the control or command key. Perfect brush by default determines what is to be masked by looking at the sample color of the pixels under the center of the brush. 
Let's demonstrate this behavior with this image. Notice the brush paints wherever the circle is located. But what if I want to mask just the trees without affecting the sky? One way to do that is to sample the grass once, since the grass color matches the trees, and lock that sample so that wherever I brush, that sample is always used in determining what is to be masked. But can you do that in on one? Yes, you can. I'll simultaneously press Control and click on the grass at the same time. That samples the grass. Now anything which has similar color and tone as the grass will be masked, while those with the similar tone and color will not be masked. Notice now that as I brush with the control key pressed, the trees are being selected while the sky is not. A great result. So there you have it. Three tips on how to use the masking brush tool with On One Photo Raw 2024. I hope you found this video helpful. For the experts watching, do let me know if you have any other tips on using the masking brush tool. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.